hey guys welcome back once again in this video i am going to show you how to delete multiple record at a time in material table all right as you can see here i have a simple material table and on left side as you can see i have a selection mode okay so by clicking on a particular row checkbox i can select a row so here i clicked and i got one band at the top and here it's saying one row selected okay on right side as you can see i have a delete icon and on hover over it's saying delete all selected rows okay so let me click on this and now you can see the first row has been deleted now we have only three record okay suppose i want to delete this record three and four i have to select both of these record and on click of this both record will be deleted okay so let's jump to the vs code and let's implement this bulk delete with material table so let's open here src and here app.js and now as you can see here i have this material table and here i am passing three props so first is the title second is the data and this data is gonna to come from a state and this is the state has been created by using ug state and here i am getting this data from here hard coded value and the third parameter i am passing is column definition which has been hard coded over here okay so now let me come back to the browser so here this is how our table is looking right now so our first task is here to enable the selection mode okay so for that we have to add a property to the table and that is called option so here options and this option is gonna to take a object and here i can define a property that is called selection so here selection and the default value of selection is false so now here i will pass this value true so now save it and let's come back so here as you can see we have right now selection mode okay so from here i can select a row and here i am getting one row selected and from here we can select all row okay so here as you can see the four row got selected so now let's add delete action button so for that here i have to add another one property and that is called actions so here actions and basically this is gonna to take a array and here this array will have a object and this object is gonna to denote a action so here i have to pass some property so first is called icon so here i will name it as a delete okay and the second property here i have to pass is tooltip so here in tooltip i will provide so delete all selected rows so once the user is gonna to take his mouse over the delete icon it is gonna to show this tooltip over there okay and the next here i want to define called on click function okay so here on click and now i will call it as here console.log and here delete clicked so now save it and let's come back here so now as you can see we don't have delete icon over here but if i select here we got our delete icon here okay so now let me do right click go to the inspect mode okay and from here go to the console now clear it and let me click on this so here as you can see delete clicked that means on click function is getting called so now instead of printing this console log over here i want to print the all the record which has been selected okay 
so here as you can see i have one data row selected and now on click of this delete icon i want to display this one here and if i have selected two records i want to print both of the record on click of delete icon okay so for that what we have to do is we have to manage a state and we have to trigger a event and that is called on selection change so here on selection change so basically this is gonna to take a function and with one parameter so i will call it as row okay and now let me do console log so console dot log and here print this row so i saved it and let's come back here so now if i select a single row you can see on the console i have this data in an array so if i select the multiple record i will have the multiple record here as you can see here okay so now instead of printing this record over here what i can do is i can store this record into a state so for that i have to create a state so let's call it as selected rows and now here set selected rows equal to use state and here let's pass empty array okay so now let's update our state so here set selected rows and whatever the value i will get into the rows i will assign to this variable here so now save it so instead of printing this delete clicked here i can do the console log whatever data i am getting so here selected rows so now save it and let's come back here okay so here i selected first i selected second and i clicked on the delete and now as you can see we have both data here which has been selected so now if i select all here and if i click here i will get all the record okay so now here we are getting all the record and now our task is to delete on click of this delete icon so for that here we have to call a function so instead of printing this one here i will call a function so let's call it as handle bulk delete okay so this function doesn't exist so let's come to the top and create this function so const handle bulk delete okay and now here as you can see this table data have whole data and this selected row state having the the data which has to be deleted means the user has been selected okay so now what we have to do is we have to write a logic to delete this selected row data from the table data and after that we have to update the state so for that what we can do is we can use a filter okay so here i can write table data dot filter okay and filter is a function which is gonna to return a array of the data based on your condition so basically this is gonna to take a callback function so here let's call it as row and now here we have to write a logic to search into the selected row okay so here what i will do is i will write selected rows dot so now here i am gonna to use another one array method that is called includes okay so here this includes is gonna to give me result in boolean value true or false if particular element exists in a particular array it is gonna to return me true otherwise false so here i am gonna to check in this selected row this particular object exists or not so here i will write row okay so now let's store this result here so updated data okay so now let's come to the next and do console dot log to the updated data so now save it and let's come back to the browser okay and let's select a row and click here 
so now you can see it's haven't called so here something is wrong okay so here i need to pass your bracket okay so now let's save it and come back again so here let's select a row and click on this so now as you can see we have one data and we are getting the same record what we have clicked but we are not getting other three and this is happening because here in our function we wrote that the selection row dot include the row and this row includes only one row that's why we are getting one record so we don't want to get the particular record so here we have to do reverse so here i will add not okay so now let's save it and come back here so now if i select a record here and clicked on this i got here three record so let me expand and now as you can see here the id is two three and four that means one doesn't exist one has been deleted so now we can see we are getting the required data on the console but we are not getting a table so for that what we have to do is we have to update our state so now here let's remove this console log and write here set table data and now save it so i selected a row and i clicked on this and now you can see i don't have row number one anymore that means it got deleted so now if i selected all and clicked here all record has been deleted so no record to display okay so here you can see which one you want to delete you have to select and on click of this you can delete the those records okay guys so in this video we have seen how to delete multiple record at a time in material table all right so you can get the download link of the code in description of this video if you like this content do like share and subscribe see you in next video thanks for watching